Hello there, my lovely, attractive subscribers. Welcome to another awesome episode of Minecraft Modded with your favorite YouTubers extraordinaire, Chris and the Mike. We have Carlito. Hello, everyone. My name is not really Carlito, by the way. It's Carlo. But yeah. Yes. Carlo, what are you? You're supposed to be down here. Why, why are you up uh, back at home? Well, because I wanted to do something while you fixed the sound on your end, remember? And then we just decided to end the episode. And now I'm up here for no reason. When we last left off, we'll just come down. When we last left off, uh, we were mining down and I had some major audio issues, which I believe are fixed now. Okay. Go. I'm just continuing down, so it's, there's only one way to find me. Oh, we're already at level 11, by the way. So. Also, I'm going to have to take your audio from the beginning. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, in the last episode, yeah, my audio issues, I think, are fixed. They also affected some other videos from the last two days. So, we keep in mind that things might not be synchronized. I try to, my best to fix it. What is that sound? It sounds like boiling it. water. It's like lava. I think it is lava, for sure. Do you have an iron pickaxe on you? I don't. Okay, just mine. Oh my god! Look at that! Hi, baby. What is it? What the heck is that? A lobber. Oh my god, is it... What? Oh my god. Is that what those... those that's what's making the sound? Yeah. Ouch. It is. Thank Careful. you. Yeah. Holy crap! It, oh. it brings up lava! Oh. Did the lava go away? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Hey, man. That's not cool. That's insane. We have a pet lobber in our basement. Ow! Shoot. Uh-oh. We need water. Are you gonna die? I'm burning. No, no. Are you good? Mm-hmm. We need water. So that's what all that lava stuff's all. All that boot. That's freaking scary. Okay, we did not get enough iron in this trip. There's not a cave nearby. Nope. Nope, nope. I want to collect this coal. We need it anyways. All right, you go do that. <laughs> so um, before this recording, Carlo and I were actually talking about um, camping and how much I really love it. And Because uh, he wants to pretend he's in The Walking Dead and survive off of whatever we find. I freaking, I just love that aspect of being stuck in nature and having to survive. But, you know, camping's like a much less severe form of that. But when I was younger, I would always read uh, uh, books where a kid would get stranded. There was this one kid. He was actually like really bad. He was he was like a really bad kid, and uh, he was sent to juvie. And then they were like, "Okay, you need to go to some sort of therapy." And and he was like, "I don't want to go to freaking therapy." And the there was this guy there, and he said, "Oh, I have a different method of therapy for him um, to rehabilitate him and make him a better person." And so what he did was he flew him out to the middle of freaking nowhere, the middle of a forest, dropped him off there and said, here's your rehabilitation, build a shelter, live. And he had to survive and stuff. For and he got attacked long? by a bear. I think uh, it was, a, there's more than one book. A I only year? Got the first one. Yeah, I only got through the first one and uh, I think it represented a year. Oh my God. So no. I really like loved it. The, the cooking. The, it talked about the cooking. It talked about how he got attacked by a bear. Um, it told the story of like him fishing and like trying to like gut the fish or like how to fillet it. And I don't know. It's, it was amazing. And how he over the winters when it was snowing, uh -huh. um, he would. He do we have iron to cook? He would uh, uh, the. The meats that he cooked, like boar meat, he would. Um, I don't know what am I trying to say? He would get the far save the fat. Like he would just boil the crap at it. He would save the fat. And I think once in a while, the guy dropped by and like gave stuff to him, like something to make his life a little bit easier. Like a jacket, maybe. Yeah, like a jacket or like a pot or something or something like that. Okay. And uh, so he would uh, cook the boar meat and there would be fat left and he would save all the fat and freeze it over the winter 
and use that to cook other things and it was i don't know it was it was cool man I, that's how that's why well, i like well, that well that kind of cooking that's not what we're gonna be doing right no yeah. we're not that's see that's why that's what i said camping like are a you though much less severe form of that i'm trying to like cook food and get this iron cooked you can make yourself a iron pickaxe in a way we are camping in minecraft yeah that's why I really fell in love with Minecraft in the first place. This kind of survival aspect of it. Where, you know, you just, you gotta farm animals and do all sorts of stuff. I kind of just want to spawn right off the bat in a city. <laughs> city boy. <laughs> and then again, that's the aspect that I really like of nature where you kind of just have to survive some people like the farming stuff and i think i think that nature survival actually leads up to that but city life come on me. let's go to sleep <coughs> city oh. life is the life for me Good night, sir. Good night, all right i'm sir. gonna uh patch that all up whatever we dug yes well, not, not all of it but probably halfway down i'm gonna patch it up because there's no cave down there all right so Chris, I'm going to go pumpkin hunting. Would you like to come with? Well, you're not going anywhere without me, so... I mean, what do you, what do you think you're going without me? What, well, what am I... Okay, let me do something. Oh, I know. Let me just plant some wheat or something. Let me get some seeds. Yeah. You didn't want to find out what those lobbers did? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you going to dump water all over them? I don't know. That would be a great way to kill them, though. Don't you have water on you? I thought you made a pail, a bucket. Oh, you made a bucket? No, I thought you made a bucket. Oh, no, I didn't. I was just, uh, uh cooking our food, whatever food there is. Food, huh? I thought all that comes from. You know okay, what, though? So what, is, what does, uh, the yet another food mod consist of? Like, what is it? What is it, it just, doing? you know those mobs that never drop food or anything? It like squid and sheep, they drop food, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm ready to go mining somewhere else because we still need to get full di uh, iron armor. Full um, die. I'm thinking. Well, yeah. So, let's go straight. No, then. no, you Chris, can't can't what? we just get pumpkins first? Because I want to tame the bats that we find. Okay. Please, please. Okay. Let's good. go then. Also, we we also have the quiver bow, which has like really cool guns and stuff like that. Guns. Yeah, the quiver bow? I thought it's just like cool arrows. No, I'll show you in a bit. String, stick, and wood. Oh, yeah, yeah I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh, we don't even have string yet. Okay. All right, well, let's go. Let's go. Pumpkin. Go adventure. All right, so we need to make pumpkin pie. So the only thing pumpkin we need. Oh, great. We need eggs. Is this eggs. where our farm's going to be? Well, it's just temporary. Okay, we gotta determine where we want an animal farm, where we want like a food farm. I mean, a like wheat farm, yeah. pumpkin farm, melon farm, tree farm. Do we have any eggs? Cause we we're gonna need eggs. <clears throat> oh wow. Uh no. All right, let's just go this direction. Hope we okay, run into I'm pumpkins. Fifty one hundred or eighty one twenty or. So. You know, the only thing that sounded appealing when you told me the story was the whole fish mm -hmm. part. Because I like fish, you know? Yeah. I, he, I wouldn't mind he, eating fish. He fished a lot. Well, during season, mm. though. Because, you know, like, not... The se the fish weren't there all season. Um, what kind of yeah, fish? Yeah, fishing sounds really fun to me. The fishing poles we ordered on Amazon, actually, those are really compact and, like, perfect for, like, camping and stuff like that. Or for survival. <laughs> compact. Yeah. Also, what's fly fishing? What's that? I'm grabbing some coal. Fly fishing is, you have like this really lightweight pole, and at the end of it, you let the give the the fishing line some slack, and at the end of it, it's like a really light piece of bait, which is like a feather or something, or feather. it could be anything that's like sh uh, shiny or colorful, and you swing it over the air, um, oh, and then they and jump then out you and you let catch it with land in the water. When as soon as it lands in the water, the fish try to get after it. You snag it that way. Oh, that's weird. You know what I thought it was? I thought you hook a fly or some flying insect. And then you make the sh the fish jump out of it and eat it. And then you make the sh and then you jump out of it. Yeah. 
You catch it with a net. I don't know what I was saying shh for, but a fish. Fish. You had the shh. You had the fish without the f yeah. part. <laughs> Oops. I think we're back to our dino butthole place. Yeah. <laughs> dino butts. That's what I named that episode. Dino butts. Butts. Good. Cause it, I, I, I want to kill that angel creeper. How? We don't have quiver bow or any artillery or any guns of anything. How's my audio? We're not skipping, by the way? No. Oh, oh, maybe we can. Maybe it's going to fly away. It's going to fly away. Hey, That's baby. <laughs> oh, freaking jerk. That's You're a weird back heat that he has. It's like an alien jerk. creeper or something. It's not an angel creeper. It's a freaking alien creeper. So here's what I brought when I went camping a long time ago. Oh, my yeah, Game Boys, my DSs. We oh bought a gas stove. I mean, a mini, a uh, you know, a portable gas. Oh, you know what? Maybe stove. we should get that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Cause it's, we could go. It's really not that expensive. Yeah, we could drop by uh, Big Five and uh, pick that up. Okay, you're you're abusive. To this. I saw it on Amazon, but it was kind of expensive. How so. much was it? Uh, like fifty bucks. Okay. But it's without like the. Gas. Gas. All right, we should go look for one because yeah, there's something I want. Never mind. I'll just tell well, you we later. Have, we have uh all of well the rest of the week to find all right out because okay because right now I am not looking forward to eating eggs <laughs> and canned tuna by itself. I need something yeah, hot. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, we will have a campfire, so I don't know what I mean, how, how we can utilize that. I've never cooked on a campfire, but there, there's also like cast iron would work on there. Can we bring some like fish? <laughs> I wouldn't mind grilling fish with the campfire, like on well, a stick. Well, if we could make it last in the cooler, that's the only thing I'm worried about is that the, the. Uh, well, it's only one day. It won't last in the cooler. Yeah. It's one day. I'm just gonna. Put it in it's one. breakfast that I'm mostly worried about because by the time the ice is gonna melt overnight. Three mackerel. Where yeah, you're right. Go. I lost you. Um. Oh, I see. Here. Let's go. I got. Oh, you were behind the. Where fat would dino, where would but... pumpkins uh spawn? Cause I I just don't know. They usually know. spawn anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. Yeah. Most of the time, I see it on the border of a plains and a swamp. Oh. All right. I mean, that's just. I mean, this is a plains. Do you think it's yeah. in the, what do you call the snowy area? Alpine? Uh, I'm, I don't know. I Yeah, I did find pumpkins near snow one time. Oh, pumpkin, pumpkin. <coughs> also, why do people call each other pumpkin? I never understood that. I don't even know. People hey, think pumpkin. it's cute or something. I don't know. Oh. Like, why did they add, eat, add Ito to the end of a... Yeah. Like With that said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. If you haven't already done so, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And visit the lovely attractive network.com to purchase our really cool t-shirts and sweaters. Have a great day. Hopefully we made yours. And peace out. Bye, guys.